On Saturday week last, members of Mullingar Kyokushin Kai Karate Club gathered at the Parish Community Centre on Bishop's Gate Street for the first time in over a year and a half. The outbreak of COVID-19 meant that students of the Mullingar Dojo and their sensei, Ken Fitzpatrick, had to practice their technique, largely in the comfort of their own homes. But as classes resume, Ken, speaking to us on Tuesday night, is looking forward to a full return to national and international competition. Um, it's great to be back, but it's uh, it's it's still qu- it's quiet at the moment. You know, it's, it will pick up, but it's been it's a challenge. You know, but it feels good to be back. You know, it feels great to be back and, and doing the exercise again. But it's been a strange time. But uh, looking forward now to uh, moving on. You know, looking ahead now to next year and different competitions and events that we can attend and you know, set some new goals. I didn't do a lot of Zoom uh, classes, you know, it was just a case of um, sending people the odd text. Uh, I did a couple of little articles in the newspaper, you know, with yourselves, but um, yeah, it was, we kind of lost a bit of touch, to be honest with you. We did some outdoors, uh, it was a very small group, uh, but it was great to meet up, you know, it was a smaller, a smaller group. It was, ah, it was just difficult, you know, very difficult, yeah. So what exactly is Kyokushin and how does it differ from other karate schools? Kyokushin means ultimate truth and the founder was Masoyama. He was actually originally a Korean who moved to Japan and uh, he wanted to create a style of karate that was that was a true style of karate. So it's actually Kyokushin means ultimate truth. So it's a tough style of karate. We do fight full contact. Um, now the children do sport karate and then they, they progress into full contact. So we do actually fight full contact. So. Uh, that's what we're known for. Um, so it's a tough style of karate. Um, so basically, we hit pads and, and we more or less in competition. It's it's pretty serious stuff, but everyone has to prepare well to go in there, you know, because um, if you're not prepared, you can't get hurt. So once you've done your preparation, then you know uh, you go ahead and do what you have to. And the girls fight full contact as well. Well, I think one thing that's that's helped me from a personal point of view is self-control. You know, self-control and self-discipline throughout the COVID. You know, I was kind of had to force myself, but I did it to train twice a week at home and use what I had and, you know, just keep going, go for lots of walks. And, um, you know, the whole self-control a- aspect of things as well. I think karate gives you, gives you that self-control, that self-discipline to try and get into a bit of a routine and, uh, you know, keep the training going and keep fit and keep positive and uh, to see an end in sight of the whole thing, you know. Um, it was challenging for everybody, you know, but it was, I think that's what karate gave us, that self-confidence and the self-control, yeah. Among those back training on Tuesdays and Saturdays is Alana Arthur from Streamstown, who has been practising Kyokushin karate for just over a decade and a half. My name is Alana, and I am the very first uh, female black belt in the Mongar Kyokushin Kai Karate Club. I've been training for the past 15 years and it's just a really excellent club. It's very, like, I'd like to say family orientated, like everyone is very close, like it's very tight knit club. Um, I really enjoy training here and it's just a pleasure to be the first female black belt. <laughs> Obtaining a black belt is no easy task for a karate student and Alana gives us some indication of what it takes to get there. Um, a lot of perseverance, a lot of dedication, like the nights you don't want to train, that's raining outside and you'd rather go to bed. Like it definitely takes hard work, um, but I really enjoyed it. Like obviously everything is like dedication and everything takes hard work, but with the right people and the right motivation, the right people motivating you, it's not that bad. It's, it's not bad at all. <laughs> Morning Gark, Yokushin Kai Karate Club holds classes for a variety of age categories from 6 years and up, from 5.30pm on Tuesday evenings and from 9.45am on Saturday mornings. Yeah, you'll find us on Facebook, Mullingar Kyokushin or www.kyokushinireland.com. So Ken Fitzpatrick is, is my name, but yeah, you'll, you'll get us on there. We're a traditional karate style. We're a hard, tough style. Um, you know, we're quite traditional. We stick with the, the tradition. And um, we have a grading system, so yeah, you'll find us there, no problem, um, on social media, uh, on the website, uh, kyokushinireland.com as well.